I can't believe we had to go all the way here just to do this. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Oh, this old gag, huh? All right. And let's remember, Ed, that we can probably go further off the map than we think. Mm-hmm. Here we are. Watson, pack your bag. We are visiting a location in St. Albans marked on Sir Rodney's map. Pack your bags. Pack your bags! Okay, so far, I don't think that the crazy guy did it. And I don't think that the arrogant and cocky guy did it. I think they want you to not like him. But he's not really the guy. I think it was the guy in the middle. I don't remember what his name was, though. This archaeological site has been abandoned. Why did Bentcliffe come here? Hmm. Let's open the wicket. Hmm. Domum Hadriano. The knife used by Mithras for the teroctomy, the sacrifice of the bull, is originally a curved sacrificial blade of Persian Oregon. Oregon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> its curve can be from 5 to 15 degrees. I'm just going to skip the idea that I mispronounced origin. The name is derived from the Persian Shamshir, which means sword. This radically curved sword family includes the Shamshir, Scimitar, Talwar, Kilij, Pulwar, and Mongol Saber. A myth of... I suddenly feel like I'm in Grim. A myth of the golden knife is the key to the Mithraic mysteries that some describe as an equivalent to the Holy Grail. The golden knife carries a curse that will spill the blood of the unworthy who would dare to touch it. What? How dare you? All right, let's get, we got to take those back to Baker Street. And let's look at this just because I hate these exclamation points on here. So I think it was Percival Blinkhorn right now. Unless it was all three of them together, like an Agatha Christie novel. What's this? The cult of Mithras was, was a mysterious religion practiced within the Roman Empire from around the 1st to 4th century AD. The name of the po Persian god Mithra, adapted by the Greek as Mithras, was linked with a new and distinctive imagery. <sighs> Worshippers of Mithras had a complex system of seven grades of initiation with ritualistic meals. Initiates would meet in the underground temples called Mithra that were retained in large numbers. The iconic scenes of Mithras show him as being born from a rock and slaughtering a bull, Toroctony. Okay, so we've got to talk to someone about those practices. <gasps> and the empty coconuts that they had used to imitate the sound of horses' hooves. Mani Python on the Holy Grail. Another strange ritual for the old gods to keep the evil spirits away. The people, feeling that the dark eye was upon them, would melt their valuables in the fire. Sub-Saharan tribes burned fruits, and the rich Roman families spared no expense melting silver or tin. It's not recorded as such valuable offerings were thrown away with the ashes or if they were reused at a later date. Please let that be it on that shelf. I'm tired of reading. Okay, good. This is the map of the site. We are at the heart of an old Roman city. We are? Oh good, more documents. Followers of Mithras were covert, worshipping more conventional deities such as Juno or Neptune in their everyday lives. Mithras temples were usually found below the temples of other gods. Mithras followers often referred to their traditional deities to gain passage to the Mithraeum, the example of the Mithraeum of Dio in France is interesting as the entrance was located beneath a carved statue of Diana. This entrance was possibly revealed by a clever stone and rope mechanism, which may never have been discovered if the water infiltration had not destroyed the mechanism, opening the way down to the Mithraeum. Mithraic temples can be found 
in Rome, Ostia, Numidia, Dalmatia, Britain, and along the Rhine-Danube frontier, which belong, which being somewhat less common in Greece, Egypt, and Syria. So he was being lowered into the Mithraim. Mm-hmm. Yes, he was. Did I miss anything in here? Let's do one more walkthrough. It's like we're leaving a hotel, making sure we got all of our chargers. All right. Wait. The door has been left open. Someone did not care or was in haste. Someone did not care. All right, what do we got over here, you guys? What? I can examine nothing on this table? Are you kidding me? You guys. For real? All right. Wow, look at this place. It's huge. Oh. Oh. What's up, Cyclops? You want me to go down there? Hmm? Trying to distract me from this land over here? But there's some good stuff over there, too. But I'll look over here first. The Cyclops, a one-eyed creature helping Vulcan at the forge. Vulcan, the god of fire and metalworking. And living long and prospering. I'm sure. Alright. So... What is up here? Oh, the way back. That's all I'm going to find here. Really? All right. Let's go back up. Just keep going left so we don't forget where we were. Oh, the pits. I don't need the ropes for now. For now? Mm-hmm. Whoa! Oh, I thought I was going into it. I'll just take these. Excavating tools. A bucket, shovel, and brush. Okay. Weird. Hmm. Alrighty then. Hmm. Bucket. <laughs> Arch of Hadrian. Keep going left. Oh wait, this breaks off into over here. Wow. There's a lot over here. A lot for me to snoop around in. Hmm. Go down there. That looks like something good. Arturus Dumum. Dumum. The door has been left open. Someone did not care or was in haste. Again. All right, what do we got? Hat, boots, ladders. Oh, no, no more documents. Dear Lord Blackmore, The manager of the baths, Sir Gregory Pitkin, was quite a nuisance at the start when I arrived. After you stepped in, he became rather more helpful. Occasionally, people of his rank aren't well suited to a work of such great magnitude. They lack the necessary vision. In a few weeks' time, I hope to bring good news of the Strand Lane Baths. I'm on the verge of discovering a major archaeological artifact, one that might be used politically by your party to demonstrate the strength of our ancestors 
and fulfill the need to protect our empire from any present and future threats. What are you talking about, you crazy, crazy man? Alright. Find a use for the archaeologist's trowel. Alright. Ooh, I learned something. Wait a second. Stolen notes. Strange wound. Effective arrival. What did I learn? Oh, this down here. Pitkin feels rather uncomfortable postponing the public opening of the Roman baths because of Sir Rodney. He was angry because of this. Pitkin expects to receive much value from Sir Rodney's research, the work will increase the bath's renown and popularity. I think that's true. Um, okay, I've tried everything else. Alright. Oh, no more documents! Calvin! Hobbes and you can... <laughs> what? Hobbes and you consider yourselves as being so smart and funny. I had a good laugh when you froze Miss Durkin's notes about the Arch of Hadrian in the ice. However, our thesis exams are just ahead, and as you are the so-called brain of your improbable duo, I have to warn you that my gastrophides model, the ancient Greek crossbow, and not the medical device to relieve constipated people, as you might have thought, is not to be touched or else I'll have to inform Mr. Wormwood about everything you've done these past two years. P.S. I ate Hobbs's tuna sandwich. S. Spittle. What? What is that nonsense? Calvin and Hobbs and Spit and eating each other's sandwiches? There's your crossbow. This is a reproduction of an ancient Greek crossbow. This is a re... Okay. The gastrophets were used with ropes and hooks for sieges. This is a reproduction of an ancient Greek crossbow. Okay, I gotta put it together somehow then, right? Why am I not putting it together? Why am I not putting it together? Hmm. All right, I'll come back to you. This is the map of the site. We are at the heart of an old Roman city. The gastrophets were used with ropes and hooks for sieges. Okay. And then? It is a broken statue of a bull. It is a statue of Minerva. Neptune, the god of the sea. You care about those two? Construction hooks. Construction hooks. Hmm. I want to mix that with the uh, the bow, right? Need to find some rope, I guess. Okay, I need some rope, people. Rope. Can I go down underneath here? Yep, yeah, I gotta go up there. Okay. Here we go. Go down here to the tablim linium. Rope. No. 
This wall was covered with mud recently. What could be hidden here? Ah! Frigidarium. Let's just do this whole thing, right? Swiping and swiping. I'm not sure if this is what a trowel is actually supposed to be used for, but you know, this is how we do. I'm really doing a good job though. Uh, kind of curved, kind of got some accidental anglage on that one. Look at this, beautiful. I can see now. Okay. Frigidarium. It is located at the Roman Baths in London. Someone took the time to hide the fresco, but what for? I need to visit this place. Back to the Frigidarium, eh? Alright, but we still gotta figure out what to do with the, uh, the crossbow and the hooks. So, what are we missing? Where did I go that I didn't really find much? You know what I mean? Like over here. I didn't really find much over here. Oh! Can I examine the this railway? This railway is used to remove rubble from the site. Mm-hmm. Okay, I gotta talk to somebody about the Mithraic Mysteries. And I gotta do some analysis. So let's do some analysis and maybe that'll uh it's probably gonna make the um the mold for the uh the murder weapon 